So everyone's heard of Steam. They do something called a hardware survey every year, where if you consent, they'll gather up the data of your PC, like your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, even your motherboard, and if you're running an SSD or not. And without letting anyone know who has what, we'll share the overall data, like most popular graphics cards, how many cores are the most popular. It doesn't share a whole lot of data, but shares enough. And recently, a new graphics card has become the leader, and that would be this. This, my friends, is an RTX 3060. It's an NVIDIA card. This one's a Gigabyte WinForce Edition. 8-pin PCI, 2 HDMI, 2 DisplayPort, pretty big heatsink. It's not a bad card by any means. 12 gigs of VRAM, ray tracing, of course, all the standard NVIDIA part. It's a popular card, but is it a good card? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. We're going to run this through a bit of a gauntlet, doing some testing on it. We're going to see how it performs. I'm going to compare it to what was the last most popular, being what I have on my test bench here, the GeForce GTX 1650. Even though it's on my test bench, it'll be tested on the same machine, don't worry. We're gonna figure out, is this card good for gaming? Spoiler alert, it's not bad. How does it compare to the 1650? And well, why is it the most popular? Now sadly, I don't have a lot of powerful machines just lying around for testing. And so I'm gonna be testing this on my main rig because it's more than adequate enough. It's currently running a 4060 Ti, that'll be taken out. It's got a Ryzen 7 5800X, 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 3600 megahertz. Running on a Samsung 990 Pro, two terabyte. Let's open up the machine and pop the 4060 out. The RTX 3060 is now in the machine. Windows is booted up and working. So I'm gonna download some drivers quickly. I've got my RTX 4060 Ti out of the way. Such a pretty card. I'm gonna do some games testing on it. 3D Mark Time Spy, and also something just to be transparent about. I am going to be screen recording on the machine itself for both the RTX 3060 and the GTX 1650, but I'm gonna be software encoding and using the CPU. It might still affect performance a little bit, but that's why I'm being transparent, and it'll affect them both the same because they're both having it. And so, let's jump into some RTX 3060 benchmarks. All the drivers are installed. Task Manager's showing it. Yeah, 12 gigs of dedicated GPU memory. Let's do some benchmarking. So the first thing I did was run 3D Mark and I ran the test time spy which it scored pretty well with the graphic score being about 8,000. Following that, I started running some games to benchmark. Of course, the original Doom on Steam, which ran at about 250 FPS, which is expected. I usually just run that for the sake of testing if it was competent at all. I then ran Portal 2, which averaged at about 300 to 350 FPS, which was very good. Followed by Assassin's Creed Unity, which averaged just over 100 FPS, around 100 to 110. I also ran Titanfall 2, which averaged about 150, and Sea of Thieves, which averaged about 300 to 350, which are all very good scores and very competent scores. Okay, the RTX 3060 is clearly finished testing. I'm just going to pull it out of my machine and get it out of the way. With that, after testing the RTX 3060, I think it's more than fair to say it's a capable gaming device at 1080p. It's not going to be stunning. It's not going to be the, the greatest out there, but it'll get the job done. But how does it stack up against the GTX 1650, which was the most popular graphics card before the 3060? Well, let's do some 1650 testing now. Doing testing for the GTX 1650 now. Of course, I started with Time Spy, in which the score got about 2,500 which is not even close to the 8,000 of the first one. But moving on to some game benchmarks. Again, Doom was about 250. That doesn't surprise me at all. Neither of the GPs broke a sweat. Uh, getting to Portal 2, it dropped down to about 250 from about the 350, which is an 100 FPS drop, but still ran very well. Assassin's Creed Unity dropped to about 40 FPS average, and while it was definitely playable, was a lot worse than the RTX 3060. Titanfall 2 then ran at an average of about 80 FPS, which again was a fair drop from the 150 of the RTX 3060. And finally, Sea of Thieves ran at about an average of 100, which from 350 is again massive drops. All of these games ran well, or well enough, but all of these are massive drops from the RTX 3060. The 3060 is on a whole nother level compared to the 1650, it's so much faster. And with that, the 3060 clearly thumps the 1650. But why is it such a big leap between the two most popular graphics cards? And why is the 3060 the most popular? There's a few reasons for that. The main reason for the big leap is because pre-built, which are some of the most popular gaming PCs, as much as I hate to say it, tend to leap a lot as well. 1650s and 1660s were really popular for pre-built. The 3060 was insanely popular for pre-built. But not only that, but for a long time we had our graphics card dip, as everyone knows. The graphics card recession, the dark days. The 1650 was 
capable of gaming, was cheap, and you could pick it up easily. And so it became really popular for a while, which is how it became the top spot. But why did the 3060 overtake it? The 1650 has four gigs of RAM. it's not the fastest card, and it's just getting old and outdated. It's a good card still, but it meant that pre-builds, especially now that 16 series is discontinued, pre-builds weren't using them. They are still using 3060s. On top of that, while it's only a small thing, the 40 series was also released. And the 40 series has the 4060. A lot of people are upgrading to that. I upgraded to that, as we've already seen, which means the 3060s are going cheap second hand as well. So everyone's grabbing a 3060 at the moment. But why a 3060? Why not like a 3070 or even a 3050? There are a few reasons for that. One, 3060 was out longer than the 3050. 3050 hasn't been out very long. It's just had more time to mature and get known. The 3060 is also the most popular. On top of that, it's got ray tracing. It's a pretty good gaming machine, 12 gigs of VRAM. It's a really good all-rounder card, as well as it just being NVIDIA. NVIDIA is just more popular in the general market. A lot of enthusiasts will choose AMD over NVIDIA, but if we're talking general populace, NVIDIA has much better advertising and a much better rep. And as shown by the Steam hardware survey again, far more people use them. So, so of course, an NVIDIA Nvidia card was going to be on top. And on top of all that, the 3060 isn't badly priced either. It's not the cheapest card out there, but it's also not going to break your bank account. And that's why the 3060 is the most popular graphics card at the moment for gamers. I personally think it deserves its spot. It's a good card. It's not the cheapest, but it's a pretty good budget card. It's not the fastest, but it's fast enough for gaming. It's a really good all round. I don't, I daily drove it for about a year. And honestly, it did all my jobs. It allowed me to edit for YouTube. It did everything I wanted it to. So overall, I do recommend the RTX 3060, even though the 40 series is out. In case you're wondering, while the 40 series is a jump, especially for someone like me who went to a 4060 Ti, it's not nearly as big a jump as you would think. And so honestly, it might be worth saving some money and just getting a 3060 instead of a 4060. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video about the RTX 3060. It's a really interesting card in my opinion. Feel free to comment whatever card you run, I'm curious. Let's run our own little hardware survey. What kind of tech do you run? Please make sure to like and subscribe on my small channel, it would help out a ton. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.